Keeping your head above water in every sense can be quite a struggle these days, but you must let nothing dampen your enthusiasm. However, as you can see, a job like this does have its compensation sometimes. The photographer, by the way, is Eric Rowell, and he's one of the chaps who work on those Come to Britain posters, drawing the attention of visitors from overseas to the attractions of the English countryside. In this case, the Norfolk Broads. The added um, decoration is provided by girls from London's Windmill Theatre. For the girls, it's a sort of busman's holiday, a weekend off with part of their time spent helping to promote English tourism. Boating does genuinely happen to be a favorite pastime with many of the girls, providing the complete contrast with the day-to-day -day routine of theater life. As for the photographer, well, it's all in a day's work. One of the beauty spots of England, the Broads cover about 200 miles, in which three intercommunicating rivers and a score of beautiful lakes provide completely safe navigation for boating enthusiasts. It's thought that the Broads were formed from about the 12th to 15th centuries when East Anglia was one of the wealthiest areas in England, with a large population and heavy fuel needs. Peat used to be cut from the ground and water gradually seeped in to form lakes, for which, of course, these young ladies are most grateful. Actually, owing to reed encroachment, the channels are slowly diminishing, although it will be many years before sailing here is affected. In the meantime, let's make the most of it. It may not be exactly a life on the ocean wave, but it certainly has a character and charm that is unique. Of course, that applies to the girls too.